I might have guessed. Do you know him? Not socially. His name's Jaws. He kills people. He became an international star as the metal tooth giant Jaws in two James Bond movies. Now, Richard Keel has traded these choppers for a real axe. Ah! <laughs> a veteran character actor, the seven foot two Richard Keel does commercials for a local car dealer. And in the Fresno area, he's ah! Auto Chopper. And the kids are saying, hey, Mr. Auto Chopper. Is this your ball? Richard's last major film was the 1996 hit it's Happy Trump Gilmore. Ball. And you can count on me waiting for you in the parking lot. Richard Keel's been acting for 40 years. One of his early roles was on the classic Twilight Zone episode, To Serve Man. He plays a giant alien who convinces Earthlings to come to his planet for dinner. I did all of the shows at the time, uh, uh, Gilligan's Island, My Mother's a Car, uh, uh, I did The Man from Uncle, Wild Wild West. Keel's been in about 60 TV shows and done 30 movies. The Bond films made him among the world's most recognized actors. After 17 years of working as an actor, did my first Bond film and became an overnight success. He's an animal. Because he's huge, Keel always plays a big guy. His own film, shot near Yosemite, is called The Giant of Thunder Mountain. He's made the most of his size, caused by a pituitary disorder, but he hasn't always been big, just ask him. No, when I was little, I was little. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you kind of walked into that one, Gene. Yeah. Did you, I mean, were you big when you were little as a child? Or you... well, no, I wasn't big when I was little. <laughs> Richard's wife and kids are all of normal height. His three sons and a daughter are adults, and he has two little grandchildren. Outside of his acting, he's led a pretty normal life and become part of the community. That's what I like about living up here uh, in the mountains, uh, the small town. Everybody knows me. You know, they've gotten used to me. Even though he's a big star, Richard Keel loves being part of the community, and you never know where you'll run into him. Gene Hagenson, ABC 30 Action News.